Hi everyone this is Yunus welcome to my channel in this video we are going to see a simple cloud formation template how it is written how it is uploaded and how it is run so that we will get the infrastructure created using cloud formation template as you know cloud formation is an infrastructure as code tool or iac tool there are many in the market including terraform etc which can be used for multiple clouds but cloud formation is the infrastructure as code tool from aws it gives an easy way to create a set of resources and manage them including final deletion if you are creating a set of resources manually then it is prone to errors then it is prone to inconsistencies because if you yourself are creating the same resource a second time you may make mistakes there will be discrepancies or if you are not there if somebody else has to create that person may make mistakes and manual process is in general slow so if you use cloud formation for creating your resources it is going to give you the consistency it is going to give you the speed it is going to give you the person independence these are the benefits of using cloud formation so how do you use cloud formation you will describe the infrastructure whether you need a vpc or whether you need an ec2 you will describe that in cloud formation template which is a which can be considered as a script and in which language you write the script you write the script in json or yaml languages and there are prescribed template using which you have to describe your infrastructure including the type of resource and the configuration parameters of the resource so creating infra using code ensures speed repeatability and consistency and it eliminates errors so let us see a sample cloud formation template here you can see this is for creating a vpc the first line actually talks about the template format version there were multiple templates but this is the latest one so you have to use it same line you can use and then you have the description description is like the metadata you can say what this template is doing it can be little longer but here i have used just a half sentence then you have to include resources this is the only mandatory part of cloud formation template because you need to describe the resources right otherwise what are you going to create so under resources you have to give a name an id for the resource you are going to create and then you have to say the type so here the type is vpc and if you are wondering okay how you can remember this or how do i know what is the resource type of vpc or ec2 or security group there are enough and more documentation available you can refer to any of them there are many sample uh, cloud formation templates as well you can refer to them so that is not at all a problem then in resources you can see um, the type then the properties properties nothing but the configuration parameters if you are going to create a vpc definitely you need to mention what is the cider block it is 10000/16 then a few other configuration parameters i have included and finally i have included a tag name and my vpc so you can give any name and in this particular website there are like hundreds of cloud formations code snippets available okay so you can go to this page i am going to give this link in the video description so no need to worry so if you go here you can actually see a number of snippets which you can use either using json or yaml so let me close this and uh, what we are going to do next is let us actually create a very simple small cloud formation template to create a vpc and then let us see how it works that's it okay so let me go to the console okay and uh, cloud formation how do we reach here you can type cloud formation okay click on this okay to create a stack stack is a set of resources you are going to create using cloud formation template so first you have to click on create stack and with new resources if you want to import the existing resources under a cloud formation stack you can do that but that is not what we are going to do in this lab let me create a new cloud formation stack using new resources then it is asking is is the template ready actually it is not yet ready so let me get it ready for that i need a terminal okay i have opened my terminal 
So in this folder, I'm going to create a CloudFormation template. I'll give you this code as part of the video description. So no need. I'm going to copy paste for the time being, but definitely as I said, you will have the code in the description. Okay. Now let me save it and then let me take you through the code. First you have the template format version, then the description. You can add anything. Then parameters. Parameters is nothing but the variables. Here I am using a variable for entering the VPC name. Okay. It could be anything. Um, I can hard code the name also, but I have used a variable. So you can see that the variable name is VPC name parameter. It's a string. And the default value is VPC101, but these values are allowed. And then it is also giving a description, which will appear as a instruction to the user in the CloudFormation page. It says enter VPC101, 102, 103, 104. Default is 101. So after that, you have the resources section. Resource section is mandatory because you are trying to create some resources. So you need to have the resources section in CloudFormation template. So here, this is the same thing I showed you as part of the slide. I'm creating a VPC called my VPC. This is the resource type, properties, CIDR block and enable DNS support and enable DNS host names. Then I'm giving the tag name. So you can specify. So here you can see that I'm using instead of hard coding something, I'm saying whatever value the user selects for VPC name parameter variable, the same thing I will use as the name and then outputs that is another section where it actually outputs the id of the vpc vpc id okay so you can see that value is reference my vpc reference means it, it says okay please take this variable where is the variable this is a variable my vpc so this my, my vpc will be populated with the vpc id once it gets created okay so i'm done with my cloud formation template let it be here i'm going back to my console and saying template is ready. Did you upload it into S3 URL? I did not. So I'm going to upload it directly from my laptop. Choose file. Okay, vpc.yaml. Okay, once it gets uploaded, go to next. It is asking you to enter a name. I will say my vpc1. This is the stack name, okay, not the vpc name. Because in the same stack, you can have one VPC, one EC2, one security group, etc. So this is not a VPC name, this is the stack name. Then it is asking VPC name parameter. What do you want to choose? 101, 102, 103. If you don't choose anything, default value is 101. But I am going to choose 104. Then next. Okay. All these, let us leave it as default values. Because this is a very simple exercise. Go to next. So you can edit if you want to change any of these, you can edit it, but I don't want to change anything. Now you can click on submit. But before that, let us go to VPC's VPC console and see if there is a VPC called VPC 104. Let me go to VPC's and refresh. This is Ohio. This is also Ohio. You can see that. Refresh this. There is no VPC called VPC 104 and there are two VPC's. Now let me run my stack submit okay and when you submit it you can see there is one event which is initiation of this stack creation so if you refresh this you will see more events you can see three events creation in progress then soon it will say creation completed yeah you can see that the vpc is created so let us go and check if the vpc is created so I'm going to refresh, now only two are there. If I refresh, VPC 104 should appear. You can see that VPC 104 with this given CIDR range, it is actually created. If you go back to the CloudFormation, um, you can go to resources and see the resource ID. Okay, so this is the resource which is created, which ends with 245. You can come here and see, ends with 245. And if you go to outputs, the VPC ID will, will be outputted since we had included the output section. Then parameters, the variables, whatever we have used, it will appear here. The template which we uploaded, it will appear here. 
So this is a very simple exercise to see how a small cloud formation template works. Now how do I delete it? For deleting you just need to click on delete. So right now it appears here this VPC 104 is here but if I delete this one delete and then go to VPC you can refresh yeah the VPC 104 is deleted it is no longer here. Okay, so that's it about this exercise. All the steps and all the code related to this, I will provide everything as part of the video description. I'll come back with more useful videos soon. Please consider subscribing to this channel. Thank you. Bye.